close your eyes and watch your breath. Of course, you could choose to do anything else. Nobody's keeping tabs on your mind. But when you realize that the choices you make really do make a difference in your life, then you want to make good choices. And focusing on your breath in and of itself is not necessarily a good choice, but if you stay with it and the mind gets more and more settled in, that's going to have a good impact on the mind. You're training the mind in good qualities. You're giving it new skills, the skills it needs in order to watch itself. Otherwise, we just kind of jump around in line with our our interest. This captures our interest. We run after it, and that one captures it. So we drop the first thing and go, go after something else. We don't see the mind for what it's doing. We just focus on the things that have captured our attention. We don't realize that what the, the ways in which the mind is creating suffering for itself and for other people. So when you give the mind a place to stay where it can stay for a long period of time, you're giving it a place where it can watch itself. When things move in the mind, you'll see them, and instead of running with them, you step back a bit. They'll run for a little bit, then they'll stop. And if you keep this up, you begin to see what causes these things to come up to begin with. And why do you run after them? Then you begin to see that the whole process is optional. It gives you a lot more control over your mind. And when you have more control of your mind, you have more control of your life. So try to make some good choices. It's in our ability to make choices that we end up finding that there's something that lies beyond even just freedom of choice. There's a total freedom that's something radically different. The ability to exercise our freedom of choice can lead us really far. So start with little things that you know are good, getting the mind more concentrated, getting it more clear, giving it a place where it can have a position of strength and well-being so it doesn't have to go running after things that it looks like might be good to feed on. We can be a lot more choosy in how we feed the mind. And exercising that power of choice gives us a lot of insight that goes deeper and deeper. And it's all for the good.